Stephen puffed to a slope below the castle grounds and rolled through some overgrown grass. He found the entrance to the mine, but it was boarded up. No one had worked there in years. The other engines are right. I'm too slow, old, and weak. There's no job on this island for me. Meanwhile, at the top of the same slope, Thomas prepared to haul away dirt in the troublesome trucks. Suddenly, the truck slipped loose and roared down the hill. Thomas didn't know it, but they were headed right towards Stephen. Stephen had no choice but to push into the, ban the abandoned mine. His funnel struck the roof and rocks crashed down behind him, sealing up the entrance. Thomas retrieved the trucks, not knowing that Stephen was trapped in the mine. Oakstead Castle's grand reopening was just a day away, and the island of Sodor was buzzing with excitement. Visitors hurried from the mainland to be part of the festivities. Two special engines named Connor and Caitlin were brought over to help carry the extra passengers. With all the activity, only Thomas noticed that Stephen was missing. Thomas went to the steamworks to ask about Stephen, and Victor told him that Stephen had left the day before to find his new job. But he didn't know what his new job was. While Thomas raced around the island, Stephen was still in the mine, searching for a way out. He crept around the dark bends and through empty tunnels, but the tracks just led him in circles. The only thing he found was an old wooden crate. Thomas returned to the shed and asked the other engines to help. Let's get those boilers bubbling and find our friend Stephen, Sir Topham had protested. I have a railway to run. Just then, the Earl drove up in a panic. I need Stephen for the opening of Ulster Castle tomorrow. Sir Topham had agreed to let Thomas and Percy search for Stephen, and they quickly chugged off. Thomas and Percy searched every yard, station, and tunnel. Thomas was about to give up when Percy saw an overgrown track at the bottom of a hill near Ulster Castle. Maybe we should check down there. He, he's not there. That's the track to the old mine. We went down there when the troublesome trucks ran away. But Thomas looked anyway. He saw something familiar lying on the ground. It was Stephen's funnel. As quickly as his pistons could pump, Thomas chuffed up to the castle to get Jack the Digger. Then, when they returned, Jack started hauling rocks away from the mine entrance. As soon as it was clear, Thomas turned on his lamp and raced into the dark mine. The old track creaked under his weight. Stephen! Stephen! Finally, Thomas turned the corner and the beam from his lamp revealed a welcome sight. Stephen! I've come to get you out of here! Really? I was thinking of taking up mining again. Thomas was coupled to Stephen and carefully pushed him out of the dark mine. Percy and Jack were relieved to see that Stephen was safe. Even the Earl was there. Oh, sir, I found something in the mine that w might be of interest to you. There's a big wooden chest. Wonderful! But first we must get you ready for tomorrow. The next day, an excited crowd gathered around Ulstead Castle. Percy was thrilled to see that the metal man was also there and moving. He clanged up to the podium and lifted his mask. It was the Earl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, engines and coaches, welcome to Ulstead Castle. There is still work to do but we'll soon restore King Gordon's castle to its former glory. Now let me introduce my special steam engine, Stephen. He and Mary will be more than happy to show you the ground. Most importantly, Stephen has found something that I thought was lost forever. 
The elf opened the old chest that Stephen had found in the mine. Inside was the golden crown, King Godred's long lost crown. Then Thomas realized what Stephen's funnel looked like. A crown! He wasn't the fastest or the strongest, but he was really useful. And today he was a king. The end. It's a